I think we all just have to be strong and not strong, but we have to just, um, what's the word? Heal. Heal. And just, uh, keep going. Be happy that they're finally going home. grandson his family actually went to Kamloops residential school so I'm just thankful that he's he's here with us because I can't imagine life without him so I just like to read this out my spirit name is Apita Tipiskau Bisu Miskweo which means half moon and this is my daughter and this is my granddaughter um, 215 kids 430 parents, 860 grandparents, innumerable aunts and uncles, cousins, friends, and relatives, immeasurable member, memories, legacies, stories. That's just one school. So we're not talking about just the schools, the residential schools. There's also many hospitals that they're finding out that the children were experimented on. And not only that, the sanatoriums where all um, a lot of a lot of our our members went to sanatoriums because of TV. Um, so I'll just move it on to the next person. Come into the circle. Two. The parents must bring the children back to the school strictly on time. If the children are not returned to school on time, they will not be allowed to go home for Christmas next year. I ask you to observe the above regulations in order that this privilege of going home for Christmas may be continued from year to year. It will be a joy for you to have your children with you for Christmas. It will be a joy also for your children, and it will bring added cheer and happiness to your home. Yours sincerely, Reverend F. O. Brady, Principal. goal of a residential school. We instill in them a pronounced distaste for the native life so that they will be humiliated when reminded of their origin. When they graduate from our institution, the children have lost everything native except their blood. Bishop Vital Grandlin, 1875. As shocking as this is, I can't believe anybody here would be surprised. Anyone that, anyone that, or, or if you are, then it's time for a wake up call because I've lived for 46 years with a person that was interned and interestingly enough was taken for a Native American a lot of the time and, and so was treated that way. And so much has been hidden for so long. And the, this happening, I'm just praying that it, it just snowballs and they find everything because there is so much more to the systemic racism that has gone on and goes on today. You know, there isn't, I don't think that people realize the sense of entitlement and the easy road we had being born white very easy. It was made so easy. And how difficult it is. And many times when people said to me, why don't they get over it or something like that, um, I had to get pretty graphic in telling them to put their own child in that position and explain everything 
that was being done to their own child and tell me that they would just get over it. So really, open hearts, open arms, and bring it on. And we need to stand up, and we need to do it while this window is open, while this door is open. And we need to be humbled. We need to get rid of that ego, that attachment. We need to take responsibility and just bring all these people, their kids, home. Bring it back, you know, bring it, bring some resolution because none of the people that were has happened to in Canada, it's ever worked, and a plaque isn't enough. A memorial isn't enough, like that a road stop, you know, on the side of the road. And, you know, I wasn't really proud of Trudeau and the way he's reacting, but, you know, we need to demand more. Mm -hmm. We took everything. We need to give it back. grandmother who was almost a hundred years old and he explained that lots of times when our loved ones leave us sometimes they crave the food that we have here and that we should remember them on special times to, when we're having a feast and to remember to go put that food out for them and to remember them so what we're gonna do tonight is we're just gonna I'm gonna put um, some berries into the little cup you have and with the prayers you have in your tobacco tie and then after we'll just put it in the fire as a food offering from you i'll sing the woman's warrior song and this will be through the Murdered a missing indigenous woman. And uh, again, the children. And the mothers. And the mothers, the aunties, grandmothers, the fathers. my early childhood it it, uh, it actually happened on the coast but it um, I just been reminded of it standing here and uh, it was um, an example of the the humiliation that the First Nations people uh, felt and were made to feel um, all over the country um, it wasn't a residential school it was a public school uh, that we all attended the seashell band children as well. One of my friends was uh, from the Seashell Reserve and his name was Donald Paul and I think I was probably the only white boy that was friends with them um, and uh, I remember he always had a runny nose I think because it was 
hard to stay healthy when your family was challenged and you know as, as a kid you um, you go to friends places uh, to play and the parents get to know you and, and your family and you know you look after each other and so on and uh, and it, it didn't happen much with the the kids on the reserve because they were kind of in a different world and uh, um, I remember asking about that and he once took me to his home on the reserve and I think honestly I was might be the only kid that ever got invited there and I remember it being so sad he was embarrassed about his family and his father and uh, he um, it only happened the once um, and he was often embarrassed at school and I always felt bad for him um, and I'll always remember the pain that they felt constantly that I couldn't help but feel um, knowing them and uh, that's something that you know that we can't hardly imagine because we don't we don't live it to that extent I got a little taste of it there and then we came to Nacusp and the uh, you know the First Nations people didn't have a presence here anymore at the time so uh, you know, it wasn't a part of the reality of life growing up here. But uh, I just found myself remembering Donald and, and uh, his family and, and his runny nose and feeling bad for them. And that's what I wanted to share as a memory of something that so many families went through and we still need to working on. Thank you for your words. Um, I have lots of good friends at KIB where the discovery happened. I've been in the school. I've always had a, a really heavy presence when I've been there. I'm, I'm very sensitive yeah. and my friends have always known that and um, so it's very saddened. But it's not surprising and um, just being from Townloops, thank you for letting me be here. And I brought some sage that I always yes. collect, uh, some dried sage and um, I'll say Kuch Gem means thank you. Mm -hmm.